Hey Journey Church, it is great to talk to you and I wanted to take a moment and address something that I think is vital to the growth of our church and most importantly, the growth to God's kingdom. Every year I go on a prayer and planning retreat. July this year, I felt like the Lord was saying, something big needs to happen, something big that we have to reach for, something big that will challenge all of us to put our faith totally in God. God has given us a vision, a vision for something called Achieve the Mission. Achieve the Mission is something that we're all about, something that we're all involved in, something that we're all invested in. And that means simply that we exist to merge into the lives of those who have yet to discover God's love, grace, and forgiveness. That's the mission. While at the same time, we're all growing in a relationship with God and developing fully devoted followers of Christ. So that's our mission, that's our passion, that's everything we live for. And as a result, we believe that God is asking all of us to invest in the kingdom. And so this, this mission, this vision is huge. And I believe that God has given us a picture of what we want to do in three particular areas. The first is accelerating our ministries. And by doing that, the way we're going to do that is to raise funds to pay for our mortgage. Our mortgage is significant. It, it affects what we spend money on. And so our goal is to raise a year's worth of mortgage. And when we do that, that's $200,000. That $200,000, if we were to raise that money, that's $200,000 that could go directly into ministry impact, ministry uh, expenses, and all the things that we uh, do on, on a weekly basis. Secondly, we're going to invest in the training and equipping of our staff and our future internship program. That's another $120,000 that we hope to raise to <coughs> see our staff and our future interns uh, get trained, raise up the next generation of leaders in our church, and see God do some pretty amazing things in a team that is incredibly gifted and talented. We all must grow. We all must learn what the bigger vision is and help our church grow in that direction. And thirdly, we want to raise $80,000 to contribute to local and global missions. That's a passion of mine is to see that we invest in ministries here in our community as well as around the world. We build churches, enabling indigenous pastors to be, become effective in reaching their communities for Christ. Well, all of that totals up to $400,000. That's an amazing amount of money. I get it. And it's beyond us in, in the natural realm, but in the spiritual realm, we are asking you to do four things. First of all, prepare. Prepare to understand what it means to be a generous giver. All of this money, is to be above and beyond our tithe. When we tithe, we understand that that belongs to God. But we want to prepare our hearts to give above and beyond the tithe. And the way we're asking you to do that is to read this book, The Blessed Life. If you weren't here this Sunday, make sure you pick it up. Make sure you get that because it's going to change the game. This is an amazing book that illustrates and gives examples about the biblical principles of tithing and generosity and I think you'll enjoy it very, very much. So we want you to prepare. We want you to pray. We want you to pray that God just puts whatever He wants on your heart to give and to be sacrificial in your giving. God's going to challenge us to give beyond what we think we can do, and then He's gonna provide for it. It's gonna be miraculous, and we believe that that's gonna be very, very special. So prepare, read the book, pray. On October 29th, we're gonna start 21 days of prayer, and fasting because we want this to be a led of the Lord experience, not a led of Pastor Ricardo or any kind of manipulation or any kind of compulsion. We want it to be an absolute. God told me to give this amount of money to the cause of Christ. So prepare, pray, plan. And planning is essential. When we hear that number from God, it means that we have to adjust our giving. We have to look at our savings. We have to look at whatever God is telling us to do and plan to give it. And then on November the 19th, we want you to pledge or commit to give on that day or bring the gift that God has uh, told you to bring. And as you do, as we do, we're going to experience a miracle Sunday. We're calling November 19th 
the Miracle Sunday, the Sunday where we are all stepping out and doing something in faith, believing that God is going to not only provide for us, not only provide for the ministries of the church, but to bless the church beyond measure, like his, his word says, that when we sow generously, we will reap generously. And so God has a plan for us. And I believe that he's doing something pretty amazing to take us to the next level of growth in our church, to reach the next level of people in our community, to touch this world with the gospel message of Jesus Christ. But I wanna encourage you, if you haven't already gotten one of these, there's a, there's a FAQ on the back of it, and on the front of it, there's a QR code. You can go online and see these FAQs that will answer some of your questions for you. I would love to talk to you if you want to talk, but I believe that God is leading us in a direction, in a miraculous direction, to see the ministry of Journey accelerate and advance the kingdom of God. I'm super excited for you. I'm super excited for our church, and I believe that God is doing something special. So I invite you to invest in the kingdom, to invest in what God's doing, and be prepared to pray, to plan, and to pledge.